Welcome to the ITU studio here at the Radio Communication Assembly, uh, which is going to be leading into the World Radio Communication Conference 2023 here in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Walid Sami, who is from the European Broadcasting Union. And uh, we have uh, spoken a number of times before, yes. um, in fact, at the last World Radio Communication Conference as well. Uh, Walid, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much, Max. I'm happy to be here. Now, I would like to start off by asking you a, a little bit about uh, this conference. Perhaps you can explain it, the, uh, the conference to uh, people who are uninitiated um, and uh, the fact that it's a very long conference, and, but it has a, a great deal of importance, particularly for Spectrum, particularly for uh, uh, radio communication. And obviously, you've taken the time to be here and you're going to be here for the next uh, five, six weeks. Yes. Um, so uh, perhaps you could give us a little bit of an insight of why the European Broadcasting Union is here. With pleasure. Uh, the, the, the event has two parts, mainly the radio communication uh, uh, assembly and the World Radio Communication Conference. The radio Com communication assembly uh, deals with the structure and the working methods of the study groups of the ITU, the permanent study groups. Uh, and the World Radio Communication Conference revises the uh, radio regulations, which is the allocation of the uh, frequencies uh, to the different radio communication services. For the radio communication assembly, the EBU is, uh, is committed to, uh, to work with the ITU and uh, we provide uh, experts and also uh, chairs, uh, chairpersons uh, to several of the uh, groups, mainly in the broadcasting uh, area, of course. Uh, so study group six, for example, uh, I, am, I was vice chair un until now, but in a few days I will, I will uh, be replaced by uh, other vice chairs. Uh, because I, I made two mandates and the EBU uh, continues to be engaged because we have another candidate from the EBU for the vice chair of the study group six. So the, Redi uh, the Redicom assembly uh, has uh, s many subjects to deal with this week. Uh, there is no uh, big controversial subjects, uh, fortunately, but there are lots of points to deal with. This is why uh, for five days only uh, meeting, uh, the groups will be meeting until uh, nine o'clock, uh, several days, and exceptionally possibly until 11, 11 p.m. to uh, deal with all the work. Uh, and the broadcasting uh, group in the Radiocom Assembly is uh, quite a solid group. Uh, recently, in beginning 2023, uh, the ITU Study Group 6 uh, received uh, the Emmy Awards uh, for their work on the uh, higher dynamic range, which is quite, uh, quite a reason for, for, to be proud, in fact. Uh, the World Radio Communication Conference that will uh, follow uh, is a different thing. It's, uh, this, this, this time, uh, it is quite important for the broadcasting because we have one agenda item, uh, which is quite crucial for the uh, future of the terrestrial broadcasting platform that the public service uh, really uh, relies on uh, in, the, in, 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 the, in different, in many countries in the, in the world. Uh, this time, uh, the remaining spectrum for terrestrial broadcasting is at stake and uh, is also contemplated by uh, other services. Uh, and we have been preparing since Sharm el-Sheikh, when we met the last time, we have been preparing really, really intensively uh, in order to uh, show the need of the broadcasting for this, uh, for this spectrum. And uh, the situation uh, is never sure, uh, because uh, the positions of the administrations are quite different. Uh, but uh, we are confident that uh, we, we will, we will uh, succeed to protect this, uh, this spectrum for the public good. Uh, let's say this is the, the only remaining spectrum uh, for broadcasting and for the uh, cultural industry, like the radio microphones that you certainly are using now. 
they use the same spectrum in sharing conditions with broadcasting. And uh, we, we think that this needs to be uh, preserved for, 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 for this usage. And how hard is it? I mean, there are going to be 4,000 delegates probably here in the, in the, in the course of uh, the, in the next few weeks. How hard is it for, to, for a, uh, agreements to be reached and, and for, for, for a spectrum to be protected, etc.? And, you know, for the, 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 the results to be achieved that, uh, um, that you, know, you, you think would be uh, beneficial to the, the globe? It is very hard uh, because the decisions should be taken by consensus. There is no counting of votes uh, and this makes it very, very difficult, especially when a subject is, uh, is, uh, has different positions, very opposite positions between the administrations. So uh, there will be lots of uh, discussions, negotiations in order to uh, find uh, ways and solutions for, for this. And uh, fortunately, the uh, radio regulations provide a large number of uh, solutions, of possible solutions, to satisfy, let's say, uh, partly, partially uh, everyone. But as in many uh, places, uh, the, f the solution that will be agreed uh, will be agreed because everyone will be unsatisfied, not because one is satisfied and uh, another one is unsatisfied. Th this, is what, this is how I see the, uh, the things. Let's talk about the study groups, because I know that obviously you've been very involved with those, uh, when particularly uh, with study group six. The Emmy Award, obviously a very satisfactory result there. Um, how does the work of the, the study groups contribute to innovations such as uh, the one that uh, was premiated? Well, um, as, as I said, uh, the, this is a very, very, very good example. The, the study groups, they gather uh, experts from uh, the member states and the uh, sector members. And uh, they, they, they come with uh, the innovation that they are developing in their, uh, in their uh, organizations. But the, the value of doing this in ITU is that it becomes accessible to the wider community. Uh, the, the developing countries do not have the same, uh, the same resources as the developed countries. And uh, the ITU is connecting all these uh, experts together in order to share this, the, this knowledge and for the benefit of, of everyone. And you're here obviously representing the interests of your members, members yes. of the EBU. Yes. Uh, are, there any, um, and are there any particular uh, challenges in doing that? Because of course they can't all agree or they can't all be in 100% in consensus uh, to uh, what their aims and, and wishes are. Of course, like any organization, we, we have 115 uh, member uh, organizations, uh, but we manage, we have our uh, methods of work in order to approve our positions and of course there are uh, differences but we, we, we always manage to have a position which is agreed by the, by the organization. And uh, are you confident that uh, this WRC will be uh, uh, successful? I mean, you say, as I say, that it's a, a consensus and that not everybody will be, be satisfied at the end, but it'll be the best possible result. Uh, look, the, the experience and the past, uh, the history, uh, proves that uh, always the uh, WRC has been a, a, a success because uh, there, there is a large number of results obtained and they are all useful. Uh, there might be uh, few points that are not necessarily but, but not satisfactory, but they come back in, in future WRCs because maybe the circumstances are not met yet to, uh, for them to, to succeed. But globally, the WRC always succeeds. Well, Waleed, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. It's great to see you. And I'm sure we'll be seeing each other a lot uh, over the next few weeks. And uh, thank you very much indeed, and, and, and good luck. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, do join us uh, for more interviews on the ITU YouTube channel and uh, SoundCloud as well. And uh, we will be uh, doing a number of these interviews here in the ITU studio here in Dubai at the World Radio Communication Conference. So uh, do tune in and uh, thank you very much indeed for uh, being with us.